Blu-rays arriving in body bags. What's inside the new Horror Pack subscription? Not really the prettiest thing from the outside. It's basically just a white bag. But inside, I can assure you, are four horror titles that were delivered to my doorstep. If you are somebody that likes to have horror movies delivered to your doorstep, didn't even think such a thing was possible, you can head on over to Horror Pack's website by clicking the link down below in the video description. And from there, you can choose for yourself whether you'd like to have DVD or you'd like to have Blu-rays. I'm somebody that still likes to collect Blu-rays. I've migrated away from DVDs, but I have not gotten rid of all my DVDs, simply just because I was thinking in the back of my mind, I'm going to be going to somebody's house one day that only has a DVD player. They'll be saying aloud, maybe to the group of friends that have come over, geez, I, I only have a DVD player. I wish somebody still had their movies in DVD. I quickly dash into my car, drive away, drive back with a selection of DVDs, and I save the night. And I have the first slice of pizza when it arrives. But no, you can have either DVD or Blu-rays delivered to your doorstep. It's entirely your preference. Or you can actually have both delivered to your doorstep, as there are certainly some DVD titles that have not yet migrated their way over to Blu-ray. With that being said, and a minute already squashed in this video, we're going to go ahead and get this cut open, and together, we're going to have a little bit of fun. I don't want to say that necessarily while I'm tapping a knife. The knife isn't really part of the fun. But what I am going to do, though, is slice this turkey open on the side, pull out one title at a time, and then we'll talk a little bit about the movies, whether I've seen them for myself or if you have seen any of the titles that we're about to look at. You can let me know down below in the comment section if they're any good. Sounds good? Sounds good. I always like to be that first person that gets that pizza slice. I get to be the one that removes that little tiny coffee table in the middle and then pull that first slice. So satisfying. The first one we're going to have a look at, I've heard of this title and actually up to this point, I've not actually seen it. It's called Trick. Always Choose Treat. It stars Omar Epps, Ellen Adair, Christina Reyes, Jamie Kennedy, and Tom Atkins himself. Your dates have arrived, but they're all dead. From the, from the director of My Bloody Valentine, I have not yet, again, seen this movie, but I was super excited to check it out. On Halloween night in 2018, or 2015, excuse me, correction on that, Patrick Trick Weaver massacred his classmates at a costume party. After being arrested, he managed to escape police custody, but not before shot five times, what, not six times, by Detective Mike Denver. Everyone believes Trick must be dead. But when the masked killer reappears the following Halloween and every Halloween after that, they realize the nightmare was not over. With Trick wreaking havoc and killing people in increasingly terrifying ways, Denver will stop at nothing to finish what he started to bring the carnage to an end. Special features include the making of Trick featuring interviews with the cast and crew. Release date on this always seems to be tough to find. 2019. And we are looking at 101 minutes. I think that's pretty easy to to digest. Really interesting. Ch- checking that out. Maybe that might even be something I'll watch every Halloween. The next title we'll pull out from inside the body bag. The next one we have is The Last Exorcist Part 2. I have seen the first one. Haven't seen the second one. So, again, an ideal bag this month. From the producer Ellie Roth from Hostel and the producers of Dawn of the Dead, The Last Exorcism Part 2. Not to be confused with the first one. Uh, Nell Sweetser, played by Ashley Bell, is back in the relative safety of civilization and sent to live in a group home where she's encouraged to leave her past behind and start a new life. Just as Nell settles in, she is tormented by the seductive demonic presence that once possessed her. She realizes that the evil force is back with unimaginably horrific plans, which could only mean that her last exorcism was just the beginning. Special features include shooting in New Orleans featurettes, hair salon scare, interesting, The Last Exorcism Part 2 goes viral, Blu-ray exclusive Nell's story featurette, commentary with Ed Gass Donnelly and Eli Roth. The runtime for this is 89 minutes, that's easy to digest. And when is the released date on this? I'm having a tough time actually locating it. You know, it's always interesting that when they put the release time, the the running time, the release date, they always seem to put it as some of the smallest things to find on the case. Could we increase the size of this? Is this asking too much of the people that are creating these covers? Because I can't see this anywhere. 
I know I have old man eyes, but still, it's impossible to locate this. See again, 89 minutes, color up at the top there. But why don't they put the release date, like the actual year, right next to the, the running time? Because isn't that the two things you really want to be most curious about? The read-up of whatever you're going to be about to watch, the runtime, because that's always the next important thing. And of course, when it was released. And yet, I can't see it anywhere. Old man eyes. Old man eyes. I'm going to put that right there, though. The next one we're going to pull out from the tickle trunk is, uh, what is that? Muck? Is it Muck or Mock? I think that's a U. M-U-C-K. Muck. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to go like this. Is that right? I don't really know what this girl is doing. She's laying on something. She's either laying against a mirror or she's kind of laying on the ground. Eh, spending too much time talking about that. This throwback horror film just raised the hack, hacked up bar horror legend Kane Hodder and Playboy Playmate of the Year 2012 Jacqueline Swedberg star in this scary, sexy indie shocker that joins a group of friends just as they emerge from the thick, murky darkness of the marsh's tattered bloody. Oh, Marsh's tattered, bloody, and lucky to be alive. Sometimes I don't see that comma. But they will soon find out that the lucky ones are already dead. Muck is packed with old-school gore effects and brutal stunts. Without any CGI or apologies, a Lachlan Buchanan, Buchanan from Pretty Little Liars co-stars in writer-director Steve Walsh's searing directorial de debut that unfolds like a blood-stained love letter to horror fanatics everywhere. Now this, right, can, I can easily see 98 minutes, but way down here, this is what I'm talking about, 2014, but it was all the way down there. Could they not have put it next to color in large enough font that I would be able to see? Old man eyes. The last title that we're going to pluck from the horror pack for this month is Resident Evil Degeneration. No, not Degeneration X. An original CG motion picture. I think I had rented this at one point and it sat on my counter until it was so long and late that I just ended up returning it, paying the late fee, which is really, really remarkable when you think about it. The fact that I, I sat or not as long as I did, I accepted the fact I had to pay the late fee and then I didn't even take the time to actually watch the movie. Boy, was that stupid. Stupid, stupid. The back says a zombie attack brings chaos to Harvard, Harverdale Airport. Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield, who fought the Sinister Umbrella Corporation during the Raccoon City tragedy seven years ago, are back. In high-octane Resident Evil style, they're ready to battle a rogue warrior who is seeking revenge after his family was killed in Raccoon City. The deadly G-Virus is unleashed, and a mu new mutated monster goes on the rampage. Will Claire and Leon be able to terminate the virus before history repeats itself? Yes, will they? Special features include a look at the Resident Evil 5 video game, the generation of D-Generation X featurette, voice bloopers, faux Leon interview, Resident Evil D-Generation trailers, and character profiles. Runtime on this. Can I find it? Where is it? Oh, it's right there. 98 minutes. Can I find a year, though? It's somewhere. Oh, there it is right there. 2008. Take this. And where are we gonna where are we gonna put the time? Where was the time, anyways? Where was the time? Anyways, the point was, yeah, move right there. Right next to the runtime. Year, runtime, make it right. They're never gonna do that. Let's have a look at the titles that we had a look at. Some actually some rather interesting titles to be checking out. Resident Evil Degeneration, a CG film. We got Muck, starring Kane Hodder. The Last Exorcist Part 2. And I think the one I'm probably gonna be checking out first is Trick. Because after all, if it stars Tom Atkins, how bad could it be? Even though many of you may have saw Silent Night and know how well that went. But let me know down below, certainly in the comments section, if you've seen any one of these films and what do you guys think of them. Also, if you'd like to follow me outside the realm of YouTube, because I don't simply just exist in here. I know it probably just seems from time to time that I'm just literally living inside the interweb. But I actually do have a life. I do stuff outside of, it, of YouTube. You certainly would like to follow my exploits, including what videos and movies I'm watching, specifically on the weekends. That seems to be my movie time. 
You can also follow me over on Instagram and also on Twitter, where I post frequently, like I said, outside the realms of YouTube. If you guys are also new to this channel, enjoying all the content you're seeing, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, turn the bell notification on, hit this video with a like, and make sure, yes, you're keeping your peepers peeled because there's always new content coming your way, even though this man has, behind the camera, old man eyes. They're getting older and older as the days go by. Lots of stuff coming your way, guys. So as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.